Welcome students. I hope all of you will be good. Today I am going to uh, discuss one sample t-test both in uh, Minitab as well as in SPSS. Minitab and SPSS, both of them are uh, statistical softwares with the help of which we can perform various kinds of tests. So in order to perform the t-test, first of all, we have to count the number of observation we have. So we have 20 number of observation in our uh, sample. So as the number of observations are less than 30, so we can apply t-test in case that when the observation, uh, observation are more than 30, then we will go for the c-test. So in this case, n is equal to 20 means sample size is 20. We will make our hypothesis. So first of all, we will say that mu is equal to mu naught. It means that we, uh, we are assuming in our null hypothesis that the mean of this whole data, this will be equal to a 27. Basically, this is an example that uh, the dielectric breakdown voltage. So it means that the scientist is, or engineer is making an assumption that when our dielectric breaks, its voltage is as given in the samples. Okay, means its voltage will be 24.46, 25.61, like that up to 30.88. So we have uh, obtained a data for a dielectric breakdown voltage. These are the dielectric breakdown voltages, and the engineer is suspecting that my process breakdown dielectric voltage is 27. However, in our alternate hypothesis, we will say that the mean we are assuming is not uh, is not equal to the mu. Means our uh, mu is not equal to 27. That we are uh, we are saying that what the hypothesis we have made in null hypothesis is not true. Okay, is uh, that it will not be equal to 27. Okay, or we can say in simple words that the process mean is not equal to stated mean. Process mean, we will, we will get this from the data and stated mean is 27. I hope till here you got, we people got the point of the concept. Then we will just do, do a copy and paste of this whole data in the Minitab. I've uh, put the data in the Minitab. These are the 20 number of observation. I here, I uh, write the uh, dielectric breakdown, breakdown voltage okay so this is the data i have okay. then what we will have to do we will have to do just to uh, i have to do a few simple step i have already performed the t test so in front of you people i will all, I, will, I will again perform this so what i do i will do i will go to stat then basic statistics one sample t test after one sample t test Okay, here uh, there are few options that whether I have summarized data or I have the data in one or uh, one or more samples data each in a column. So I will select that I have a data of a sample that has been presented in a column. Okay, in case uh, let's go to the second option, summarized data. So here I will have to give uh, a sample size of 20. Sample mean I have to calculate. It is given. Uh, it's twenty seven point seven nine three. Then I have to uh, uh, provide the sample standard deviation. So these are the two different ways that how we can provide the data. Then I will have to perform. I will say that uh, my hypothesized mean that as an engineer or scientist, I am uh, stating that my process uh, mean will be twenty seven. So I hope. Uh, you people got the point till here and we'll select this option. So if I go and delete it, here I have to input that in which column my data lies. My data lies in C1. I will go to select the C1. My hypothesis mean as stated in this file that it will be 27. So I write here 27, just click the option how much confidence interval I need. So in the problem, it is stated that the confidence interval, uh, it, it will be uh, alpha is equal to 0.10. It means that it will be 10%. Okay, students. So I will hit, uh, okay. I have three kind of hypothesis. One of them is the mean of the process is less than hypothesis mean. That mean of the process less than 27. 
or mean of the process not equal to 27 hypothesized mean. In this case, not equal, the value can be greater, the value can be smaller, okay? And the last one, the mean of the process is greater than hypothesis mean. So in our hypothesis, the middle one, it works, okay? As of, as it is uh, based upon our uh, question statement. I will hit, I'll click okay. Uh, no need of graphs, you know, problem. Okay, so just click the okay. You will see that the whole descriptive statistic of the uh, test has been, came presented and 20 mean generation uh, sample error mean okay it's a uh, 90 percent confidence interval based upon the sample mean so we have got this additional information uh the mini type has uh, constituted null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis for us that null hypothesis is equal to the hypothesis mean is equal to 27 and uh, in alternate hypothesis the hypothesis mean is not equal to 27 we got the T statistic value from the formula. If anyone has the question that what is the formula? So I'm going, this is the formula uh, for making a test statistic. So the formula is there. X bar is the sample mean as it is clear from the um, mini type, the sample mean will be 27.793. Mu naught, it is the hypothesized mean. From the question, it is clear that the hypothesis mean is 27. S is the standard deviation, we got 1.462 and N is 20. Just put the values in this data, we will get our hypothesis mean, uh, or, or we will get our T value, test statistic value. Based upon this test statistic value, we got our P value. We get also this P value from the uh, Excel, okay? Just by doing a simple command of P. Okay, this is a formula for finding the p-value uh, in the Excel. Okay, I will make a separate video for how it will be a video of almost one minute or so. Okay, then uh, this up till this we have uh, done with our uh, one sample t-test hypothesis testing using the mini tab. So as our p-value is very much less than our alpha value, or alpha value was as shown I show in the question, it was point uh, one. Okay, 0 0.10. As our mini uh, results are, that p value is very less than uh, alpha value. So we uh, reject our null hypothesis. Our null hypothesis was that the mean of the sample is equal to 27, as our p value is uh, very much less than alpha value. So we say that we reject our null hypothesis. Our sample mean is not equal to 27 our sample mean is not equal to the stated mean, that is 27. The same uh, problem I have also solved it in uh, the mini type. Also, oh, oh, it's uh, I have solved in, in SPSS, okay? So what we have to do in the SPSS, I will just go to the mini type. I will uh, do copy and paste all of these values, okay? Uh, all of these values from the mini type, I will do copy and I will do pasting of the data in the mini tab from this one, okay. This is the, I've, I've input a data. Then I will go to variable view. It will say uh, that the data has been input by the variable name uh, VR tetra zero one and all of this is the, is the data. Then I will go to data view. These are the 20 values, okay. Uh, what I will do, I will go to analyze, analyze the compare means as we have, this is one sample, T test, I will click on one sample T test. Uh, this is the variable data. I will move it for because I'm going to test it. Okay. Test value, here it becomes the hypothesized mean. I will make it as 27. Then I'll go to options. I will I have to perform the test at 90% confidence interval. Can continue. Okay. Just and hit okay. The results came here. N is equal to 20. I will going to compare it. I'm going to compare it with the mini tab. Okay. So in the mini tab, just look, have a look. 27.793. So 27.793. Okay. Uh, test statistic value 2.426 in the mini tab. It has been round off to the T value of uh, test statistic value of 2.43. Okay. Same values. Degree of freedom one because we have lost one degree of freedom 
as in the calculation of the mean value, okay, because the mean value has been used in the formula of test statistic, okay, t value, in the calculation of t value. Then uh, I got the upper and lower confidence based upon this mean difference. However, in contrast, the mini tab give us the result based upon uh, of the results of the confidence interval based upon this mean value. I hope you've got uh, concepts as well as the uh, method you got that how we can perform the test, uh, one sample t-test on mini tab as well as the SPSS. If you uh, have any questions, uh, sorry, I've made a typo mistake in this title, dielectric spelling. Okay. Uh, if you have any question, please um, uh, ask in the comments. Uh, also, I have uh, mentioned my um, cell number in the video, uh, or if you want to make, uh, 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 if you want to do that, I may I make the video on any other topic, problem, data, whatsoever, I'm available to you people just uh, give me the data or uh, let me know about the problem i'll make a video on that one thanks a lot for watching this please subscribe to my channel